All right, a baby boy, a 3D printer, and a life-saving surgery. That's the story of a latent couple. Tonight, we take you inside the story of the miracle child. Dan Roscone joins us now live. And Dan, what does a 3D printer have to do with saving a child's life? Yeah, Mark and Chana, that's what makes this story so amazing here. We've all heard about 3D printers and all the incredible things they're able to print up today. But what about actually printing out a breathing tube to save a child's life? Baby. A beautiful February day. Sweet boy. Perfect for a walk along the trail for this young couple. Yay, look at you. And their first baby. Yay. But seeing little Garrett outside in a stroller and not hooked up to one of these is unbelievable. It's amazing. It really is a miracle. There's a reason this two year old boy is considered a miracle child. Laser is then passing. And it all has to do with this massive machine, a 3D printer that is credited for saving his life. What are your thoughts that they saved his life with a 3D printer? Um, I just think it's in incredible. The story begins when Natalie Peterson was about 24 weeks pregnant with Garrett. That's when an ultrasound revealed a disturbing medical condition. Garrett was born with a heart condition called Tetralogy of Flow with absent pulmonary valve. Which means Garrett's breathing tubes to his lungs were not working. It caused his airways to be kind of like a wet noodle in a sense that um, they were there, they were normal size, but they were floppy. Because of that, Garrett would spend his first 19 months of life in a hospital on a ventilator. He was completely on life support. In December of 2013, something went wrong. Garrett got sick and his condition was worsening. The Petersons had to do something. We thought we were gonna lose him. That's when Jake remembers seeing a news story out of Michigan about a 3D printer saving a kid's life. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. That's yeah. beautiful. There it goes. Within weeks, Garrett was in surgery at the University of Michigan's Children's Hospital to have a new set of breathing tubes put in, made by a 3D printer. They um, took a 3D scan of Garrett's airways, and then they printed that out, and then they printed a 3D splint that goes on the outside of his airways to exactly match Garrett's airways and perfectly fit right over the top and then they sewed that splint to Garrett's airways and to hold him open. It was history in the making, only the second surgery like this to be done in the country, and it was a success. Nice, there he goes. Yeah. There we go, up and down. For the first time in his life, Garrett was breathing on his own. Really fabulous, uh, we know that the splint's working, he's able to ventilate both lungs for the first time. What's amazing right now for you is that he is breathing on his own. Oh, completely breathing on his own, and staying pink. Garrett's been home now for 10 months and is improving every day. He still requires 24 seven care. Let's get you sectioned. He can't eat on his own and he has to get hooked up to a ventilator overnight. He's also not able to walk or crawl because he's been stuck in a hospital bed for most of his life. But this little guy is a fighter. And his parents. We absolutely love him. Are enjoying their miracle child. Thanks to an incredible team of doctors, and a 3D printer. He's so sweet. He really is just the sweetest boy. He really is a sweet boy. Garrett's road to recovery, of course, is not over here. More sur surgeries may be required. The hope behind all of this is that over the next three years, the 3D printer splint will actually start to dissolve on its own. Meanwhile, the airwaves will begin to harden up. So if everything works out according to plan here, he could be breathing on his own without any kind of tubes at all. And someday, who knows, we may even see him running a marathon. For more information on this story and other Inside the Stories, go to our website, KUTV.com. Click on Features and Inside the Story.